Welcome back to the University of New Haven's Business Analytics Department series on the R language and working within the R Studio environment. In today's video, we're going to do a simple task that, we're, that you're going to be doing a lot of, and that is converting an Excel file into a format that you can use with the R language and within R Studio. To get started, um, we're going to have to need a specific library, so we're going to go to Packages, and the name of the library we need is Read Excel. Um, it has a description right here. If it is not available in your packages list, all you need to do is go to install, go to packages, type read Excel. It shows up and basically what it's going to do, um, like we've discussed in previous videos, it's going to search this CRAN repository of libraries and install it, uh, upload it onto your computer. So now that we have it, we have read Excel loaded we are going to go to our files. Now I'm going to want to load this Excel file right here called salary data set. To do that, we are going to create a variable called salary and we're going to use our arrow. We can also use an equal sign and we're going to use the function read Excel, which was located in the library that we just added. And then we're going to put the path name of the file. So my working directory, is in our tutorials and the file the the file name i'm looking for is that i've also created a variable called sheet which represents the uh, variable names for the uh, columns when we upload this so we hit enter you can see in the environment window we have a new variable called salaries with 10 objects three variables those will be three different columns let's view what that looks like so we type view And then in the window, we can see the actual table. Um, we can see that the sheet created a salaries header and a gender header. And that's the information we just pulled from Excel and we just converted it over. Now, if we were pulling it from a Dropbox or a live uh, database, we would do the same thing, except the path name would just be different. But that's it. There's no need to create a new data frame or a matrix or have to establish multiple variables. It's just a matter of just using the read Excel function from the read Excel library to convert it into the R language. Thanks again for joining us. Um, I encourage you to click the follow button and check out some of our other videos on R language from the University of New Haven's Business Analytics Department. Thanks again.